Hey guys, Wild Willy here. Um, I want to talk, I posted a video earlier, but I took it down. I want to talk about long-term food storage and preparation. I mean, I've done a few videos already, but I'm going to talk about now doing it on the, the cheap. You can buy stuff like this, the Mountain House brand in particular, it's expensive and it's full of sodium. You can buy other brands that are, you know, GMO free, low sodium, but the reality is if you're going to have enough food in your home for six months to feed three people, you better have, if you want good quality food, dehydrated and freeze dried food, you gotta be prepared to spend a few thousand dollars. The reality is I don't have that, neither do most people to spend on food. I, for a long time, tinkered with dehydration and tinkered with backpacking. It wasn't until the last couple months I've got into it real seriously. Um, and I found out there's not a whole lot you can, can't store by drying it, backpacking it, uh, dry canning it, whatever. So I'm going to go over a couple things. Uh, some of the things I do and some of the things I have just to give you guys some idea. So you can have stuff like this. You can have your canned stuff and that's great. You know what? You should always have some of that on hand anyways, ready to eat stuff. But I've been focusing more on stuff like this, dry canning especially. Now all this is is having, um, for my backpack machine, having a, an $11 investment to suck the air out of these things. It's called dry canning. You can dry can in the oven too, or I get the oxygen absorbers. So you'll see like on this shelf a few things. Uh, dehydrated fruit. There's 20 servings of dehydrated fruit there to eat as is, put in yogurt, put in cereal, whatever. Um, yeah, cookies, like dehydrated marshmallows. They turn out like a taffy, believe it or not. I know they just look like plain marshmallows, but they're actually really good and really crunchy. Same with crackers. You can dry can crackers in your oven. Uh, or like this, and they're absolutely phenomenal. Uh, stuff like biscuits, the, the Purity uh, East Coast biscuits last for years. Um, even stuff like this, guys. Mashed potatoes in here, for example. Dried ground beef. Instant mashed potatoes in that little brown layer in the middle. Shepherd's pie seasoning mix. This, once it's rehydrated, it'll feed like eight people. Just goes in a pot with some water, stir it up. Just add water until the potatoes are thick enough. Let it sit and everything comes back together. There's, you can do meals in a can like this, guys. Dehydrated ham and mashed potatoes. Um, dehydrated vegetables, believe it or not, when these things hydrate back up, they're, they're, it's unbelievable. There's like 12 servings of vegetables in here, even though it doesn't look like it. You can do cereal. You can do, um, you know, even stuff like your flours and your bisquick and your pancake mix. That sort of stuff it doesn't cost anything. It costs you some oxygen absorbers in some mason jars. Or if you have a backpack machine, which I strongly suggest you make the $60 investment in the attachment, and you can just suck the air out of these jars and they'll sit like this. They're airtight. It's a small price to pay. It's better than spending thousands of dollars and really the sky's the limit on what you can dry can. I have, I mean, like I said, in the snack department, I've got marshmallows, I've got all kinds of cookies, crackers, chips. Um, all stuff like this I've either dried rice or just left the way it is. It increases the shelf life from year for years guys. Look, I got 120 servings of instant mashed potatoes for six dollars. Well guess what? They're all in portion backpack bags now. If you go look at stuff like this guys, I love backpacking food that and freezing it. Leftover pizza. Okay, this has been cooked. We flash froze it, cool it, put it in this plastic bag, it's good. Even if it thaws, it's good. I can throw now, take this whole bag and throw it in boiling water and in 10-15 minutes this pizza will be hot through, it'll be crunchy just like the day I bought it. Um, breakfast biscuits I call them, they're just a recipe of mine, they got jam in the middle. Same thing, uh, we love our corn. Corn is in season right now, so salt, pepper in a bag with some butter, let it freeze, blanch some corn, cool it down, put it all in the backpack bag. Now we throw this whole bag in boiling water, middle of winter time. We've got fresh corn on the cob all year round. And it's not limited to this, guys. There's stuff like this. You can do, in, you can do eggs uh, and have egg dinners. You can do pancakes. You buy frozen pancakes in the store, same principle, except these will last a lot longer. Bacon. You can do steak. We, I've done hamburgers. Look at some of my other videos when I've actually made hamburgers, froze them, and then backpacked them and throw the whole thing in boiling water. The sky's the limit. Not only is this a good food prep for long-term storage, but also it's for that quick, oh, I don't have time to make anything decent to eat. So now we can just go to the freezer, grab a portion of lasagna, grab some frozen vegetables, grab some dehydrated vegetables, and make a good hearty meal in half the time. 
and the sky's the limit. And the last thing you want to do when there's in a shift situation is be trying to eat proper. You don't want to eat Roman noodles. This way you can eat really good quality for half the price of actually going out and buying it at a store because a lot of us don't have the thousands of dollars it would take to eat proper in a shift situation. This is where at times you spend $60 on a backpack machine, $60 or $100 on a dehydrator, and the sky's the limit. Anyways guys, I'm Wild Willie and I gotta get trucking. Remember, it's not a question if the shit's gonna hit the fan, it's a question of when, so always be prepared.